Hi, welcome to story time for the week of February 14th. This week we're going to make a moose. And I gave him some background trees to make him look like he was in the woods. If you'd like a moose craft kit, you can pick up at the library while supplies last. Please give us a call at 973-538-6161 if you have any questions. Let's get started. Our first moose story is called The Great Ahu. As Mouse scampered home through the dark woods, he heard an awful howl. Ahu! 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 Owl winked one beady eye. Woo-hoo! Was that you? Not I, squeaked Mouse nervously. I, I thought it was you. Not I, hooted Owl. If it's not you, then who, who, who is making this awful ah-oo? Ah ah Bear grumbled up the tree, disturbed from his slumber by the hullabaloo. Grr, he grizzled. Which, which one of you made that awful ah not I, Owl who huffed. I hoot and hoot. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Not I, squeaked Mouse. I scritch and scratch and squeak and chew, but never ever do I. Ow! 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 Knock, smack, thwack. Moose banged on the tree. Hey, you up there. Yes, you. You three. Are you making that horrible howl? Not us, grumble, grunted Bear. We growl, squeak, and hoo-hoo, but never ever do we ahoo. Then who, bellowed Moose, who? Closer and closer came the awful ahoo, ahoo, ahoo. It might be a monster, squeaked mo Mouse, bug-eyed and blue. Or hairy and scary, cried Moose, with big claws and huge teeth, <clears throat> added Bear, that chomp, gnash, and chew. Oh, what a mess, hooted Owl, a monster in our woods, that will not do. Ahoo! 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 It's a monster, all right. What will we do, called Moose, as Duck, Goose, and Dove landed with a startled quack, honk, and coo. Quick, get up here, growled Mouse, scooping Wolf Cub from the ground. Something scary is coming, and it's making a horrible sound. Do monsters eat cubs, whimpered Wolf? Monsters eat everything, said Duck with a cry. We'll be plucked, stuffed, and roasted, and put in a pie. A pie, groaned Bear. Save yourself. Follow me. The animals scrambled and clambered higher into the tree. Twist, bounce, bend. Branches buckled. The tree creaked and shuddered and groaned. And crack. The animals came crashing to the ground with a honk, bellow, hoot, coo. Then a thwack, smack, squeak, and an awful aroo! <gasps> Woof! It's you, Hooted Owl. You made that horrible howl. I'm sorry, whined Wolf. I didn't mean to give you a fright, but when I'm alone in the dark, lonely woods, it's really scary at night. Bear gave Wolf Cub a huge hug. There, there, it's all right. If you promise to be quiet, you can sleep with us tonight. At long last, the noisy woods was peaceful once more. The animals drifted off to sleep with a snuffle, wheeze, snore. Sputter, mutter, grumble, coo. Mumble, murmur. <gasps> cock a doodle do. <gasps> it spent the whole night figuring out that it was Wolf Cub. 
This one's called Moose Tracks. There are moose tracks on my back porch. I'm not sure how they got there. One thing I'm fairly certain of, last night those tracks were not there. There is bear hair on my lawn chair, but a bear came by to eat. When we barbecued our supper, he shed hair there on his seat. Bear hair, I remember. But who left all those, all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my kitchen, and I'm itching to know why. Some friends dropped over yesterday, but not one moose stopped by. There are nutshells on the counter, but a chipmunk left them there. He was making nut fudge sundaes for the two of us to share. Nutshells I remember. But who left all these moose tracks? Those moose track, there are moose tracks on the den floor. How they got there, I cannot say. Last night there was no moose tracks and they're everywhere today. There are feathers on my carpet, but my best pal is a goose. We played hokey pokey and her feathers fluttered loose. Feathers I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bathroom. It's an all out mystery. If I only knew who left them, he could mop them up for me. There are mouse prints in my bathtub, but my maid, she is a mouse and she's always leaving wee prints when she tidies up my house. Mouse prints I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bedroom. There are splattered all around. Noisy moose feet should have clattered, but I never heard a sound. There are wood chips in my guest bed, but a beaver spent the night. He got hungry and the bedpost looked so good, he took a bite. Wood chips I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks on my back porch, in my kitchen and my den. In my bathroom and my bedroom, moose tracks everywhere I've been. Who on earth left all these moose tracks? I'm quite sure I'll never guess. Why look at me! I am a moose, and I make I don't make a mess. It looks like he's going to have to do some mopping up. And that is moose tracks. Our next one is, if you give a moose a muffin. If you give a moose a muffin, He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he finishes eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. And when they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store for some muffin mix and he'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, He'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make some sock puppets. <clears throat> when they're gone, He'll put on, when they're done, he'll put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paint. Then he'll ask you to help make scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. He'll bring him a sheet from your bed. 
when he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, Boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paint. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries, he will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. And that is if you give a moose a muffin. Okay, um, so here is our, oh my goodness, I've lost an eye. Here is our moose, our one-eyed moose, because I lost an eye. Um, so on our moose, you're going to get, you're going to get some trees. You're going to get a moose body, a moose head, two antlers, four legs, and then you're also going to get um, hooves, nostrils, and inner ears, and two eyes, not just one. And when you put it all together, you get, whoop, you get now an, a, a moose, and my moose has lost his eyes. I will put my moose the eyes back on. But enjoy making your moose. Bye-bye for now.